Happy Friday, everybody. This is Chase Fraser with the Mr. House Hack Group, brokered by eXp. And uh, we've got a great guest today. If you want to know how to generate real estate leads and a lot of them and get those leads to actually close, you're going to want to talk to Levi today. So Levi, Levi and I have been friends for shoot over 10 years, probably. We're both pretty like-minded. We met uh, through a mutual friend and we were always uh, interested in how to better ourselves in whatever area we wanted to get better at. Um, then we kind of lost contact for a while and, you know, come to find out Levi is a realtor also in New Mexico and, um, he's a TV star. I mean, to put it lightly. Um, <laughs> so Levi, why don't you tell people about, you know, who you are, what you do, where you're at, uh, and that sort of stuff. And then we'll kind of get into what you're a master at and that's, uh, real estate leads via YouTube. Sure. Uh, that's awesome. And I can't talk about the TV thing yet. But yeah, so um, my name is Levi Nolasco. I'm a realtor here with Keller Williams Realty in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Um, and yeah, just like Chase said, I use YouTube uh, to get generate most of my leads and it's done really well for me. So I'm happy to be here. Cool. So tell us a little bit about your production and maybe how things kind of split up, you know, if, if you know about how many deals and then how many of them like come from YouTube on average. Sure. So uh, in 2021, I closed, uh, I will have closed by the end of uh, next week, uh, about 32 uh, transactions and uh, YouTube accounts for about 20 of those. So I would say um, at least, yeah, uh, at least, you know, uh, three quarters of my transactions come directly from YouTube. That's crazy. Um, why do you think you've been successful in it? Right. Cause a lot of people have done a lot of YouTube videos and they don't ever get traction or, um, you have a little bit of a background in television. Is that right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. So I used to be a TV producer. I have a degree in digital filmmaking. Um, so I am familiar with, you know, what it takes to get eyes to a, a screen. Um, so I definitely think that comes in handy with what I do with YouTube now. Um, so yeah, did I miss one of your questions? No, no, that's fine. So then um, throw us a bone, man. What what are some of the sure. things that you do to get eyeballs on your uh, on on your channel, on your videos? Yeah, so that's a great question. So um, I really think there's a few things that go into getting making really uh, great videos and especially for salespeople. So rule number one is I don't do any sales at all. Uh, I'm not a salesy person. I don't put pressure on people. I don't ask for sales. I I'm very low pressure in terms of my, my sales, um, I guess, technique, and it works really well for me. And I think real estate is kind of one of the industries where you can't put pressure on people because as soon as they feel pressure, they put their wall up and then they're, you know, um, they're, they're talking themselves out of it instead of doing the opposite, where if you take the pressure from them and make it feel really laid back, they will uh, honestly start selling to you. So, um, uh, so with the videos, you have to be authentic and you have to be original. Um, so when I started doing videos, I wrote out my mission statement. Let me see if I could remember it here on the fly. Uh, I'm going to show my authentic representation of living in Las Cruces through my eyes. And in doing so, I'll attract like-minded people that will value the same things that I value. So in doing that, I attract people that are like-minded and that I become friends with right away. So it filters out all those transactions that are really difficult and hard and brings me people that I get along with easily and we hit it off right away. So, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of my formula. So I don't do sales. Uh, I just try and highlight what I love about where I live and other people see it and they want to, if they want to experience it, they give me a call. Uh, that's awesome. And like kind of how I, I think about it, it's like, so one of the things, one of the benefits of a video is that people can get to know you, who you are and your personality. And they probably right. come up to you and like, they'll start talking to you and there's like no learning curve for them to get to know you because you're already out there. Uh, you right. have to get to know them. Right. And then, you know, uh, I love that no sales thing. Uh, that that's great because there is, you know, guilty trying to sell people. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, kind of like you're you're attracting like-minded people and like finding your tribe like right off the bat so what types of videos do you like to do um i love doing list videos and um and uh just informational videos because you know when i moved from los angeles uh when i was looking to move or leave los angeles i was i looked at videos all across the nation and i just remember okay what are videos that i wanted to see that uh haven't been done in las cruces yet uh, or that I can put my, you know, my spin on. Cause honestly I could 
me and five other realtors can do the same video and get, uh, you know, different leads based on it because of our personality types. So, um, yeah, I would say that I do videos on five things that, you know, I love about living here. Uh, what is the weather like here? I do a lot of scenic videos just to show you what it looks like in the area. Um, and I just hired an editor, so I'm trying to do better videos. The videos I do right now are not technical. They're not hard at all. Literally, anybody with a camera and a little bit of editing experience can do them. Um, so now it's time to take it to the next level. But uh, yeah, that's generally what I do. What are my interests and what do I want to show you? Uh, I like that. So then do you, is it a lot of relocation people that you get or is it just locals or is it a mix of both? Uh, it's, I would say it's a hundred percent right now, uh, relocation clients. And that was also one of my strategies because, you know, Las Cruces is a small town. Everybody grew up together. Everybody knows a realtor. Everyone's cousin and uncle is a realtor. So I thought for me to try and go after that business is a, is a big waste of time. I'd rather get people that are coming in from out of state because then my competition is a lot lower. Um, and then, and then they turn into, you know, seller leads eventually. Do you, for any of those videos, do you like pay to push them out at all? No, I don't advertise at all. Um, I'm building my business with as low overhead as possible. So I don't pay for leads. Uh, well, I do, I do op city where I pay at closing, but I don't put any money up front, um, for advertising at all. The only thing I do spend money on is um, sponsoring like the uh, high school teams out here and uh, like my friend's son who just won a, uh, a big fight, um, you know, national fight. Like I sponsor, sponsor everybody locally, but I don't pay to advertise. Nice. Got it. Okay, cool. So do you use anything like uh, like Canva or TubeBuddy or any, any other tools like that to help you uh, do all this? No, um, I'm still learning. Uh, I do use Canva, but um, yeah, I haven't really done anything to enhance the business or the the YouTube videos yet. They're just very, uh, I, I feel like I'm at level one right now. Um, so yeah, nothing. You're not, just so you know, you're not. <laughs> right. it, might, it feels that way, but no, someone who's closing 18 deals via YouTube is not at level one. You might be at like level three or four or five, but. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah. Cool. Um, so before we kind of wrap this up, if someone was looking to get into YouTube to start kind of doing what you're doing to generate leads or start putting videos out, you know, what are like some best practices or like what's one thing that you would recommend somebody does? Uh, the one thing is just start, you know, the start is the hardest part. The start takes out 80% of people, whether it's making YouTube videos, starting businesses, whatever it is that fear of having the camera on you for the first time will stop most people. So if you just do one video, then you're ahead of, you know, most of the competition. Um, some rules of thumb, general rules of thumb to attract uh, a face to a screen is always be as presentable as possible. The, you know, good looking people get a lot of attention. Uh, you don't have to be, you know, Brad Pitt or anything, just be presentable, uh, do your hair, wear something nice. Um, consistency you want to post a video at the same time every week um and for me i still haven't done that yet um so i'm speaking to myself here and um uh, generally uh, i always say have fun like whatever it is i'm doing in my business i have to have fun doing it or else it's not included in my business plan so yeah just do I, it just do it i like i like that man well, if anybody was looking to relocate or even curious about what Las Cruces is like real estate wise, how would they get a hold of you? Um, I They can email me at levinm at kw.com uh, or they can give me a call at 575-800-9028. Um, and, and my videos, my YouTube videos have the QR codes in them. So if they take out their phone and open it up, um, they can get my information that way. And my YouTube name is Levi Loves Las Cruces. Nice. All right. So Levi Loves Las Cruces or uh, Levi NM at KW.com. Yes. Cool. And I, I don't remember your phone number off the top <laughs> of my head. You can rewind this and, and find it again. But uh, yeah. awesome, man. Um, thanks for taking a little bit of time out of your day. I know you've got to go help out some buyers. So um, if anybody out there is looking for real estate in the Vancouver, Washington, or Portland, Oregon area, you can reach out to me. It's chase at mrhousehack.com. You can call or text at 509-393-9123. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you got a lot of value out of this and we'll see y'all next time. Awesome. Thanks, Chase. Yeah. Thank you.